welcome to my youtube channel my name is ayedile adeyemi and i'm a fashion teacher if you are new here a very warm and hearty welcome to you so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and put on the notification bell so you get notified anytime i upload a new video so today i'm going to be showing us how to cut different variations of flare the 180 degrees flare the 360 degrees flare, 720, 1040, as much as you want it. I'm going to be showing us how to cut the different varieties. So let's get to the working table. So the four varieties we are going to be cutting are the 180 degrees flare, the 360 degrees flare, 720, and then 1080 degrees flare. This is um, not up to a full flare, this is a full flare, this is a full flare in two places and then full flare in three places. Now, the waist circumference I'm going to be using is 8 inches, that's a round waist. So, to calculate, I'm going to be working on the 180 degrees first. So, the, to calculate the radius for this 180 degrees is going to be my round waist divided by 3.14 but before i do that i will add one inch to this this is my actual round waist for this um measurement so this one inch is for zip allowance or any kind of fastener you want to put so you might decide to add two inches so i'm using one inch here so this is going to be nine divided by 3.14 the answer is 2.83 so I'll be using approximately 3 inches 3 inches so now to get this I'll um, I'll simply fold the paper into two and then mark out the radius the radius is three inches note i folded into two only so i'll measure the radius out from here three inches i'll mark it all round three inches three inches three inches so i'll link it together So from here now, you can now measure the length of the flare that you want. So for this measurement, I'll be using um, 3 inches as well. So 3, 3, 3, 3, and 3. So that's it. And I'll cut it out. I'm using a paper scissors. This this scissors I use it strictly for papers. Don't use a fabric scissors for paper. So this is the one eighty degrees left. So let me I'll do same on fabric. So here is it, um, cut it out, and this is what I have. So this is my 180 degrees flare. So you can see my pretty model. <laughs> you can see it's her size. So here is it. So if I'm adding zip, I have allowance at the back for zip. So you can see it's, it's not so um, full, it's just very simple. You can use it if you don't want a very full flare. You can use it on your sleeve, you can use it here, you can use it um, just anywhere you want to put some flare. So that's it. Now we have done um, the 180 degrees flare. So now to calculate the radius for the 360 degrees, degrees flare, 
is going to be 9 inches that's my waist circumference plus 1 inch for zip allowance divided by 6.28 answer is 1.43 so I'll use approximately 1.5 So to cut this now, I'll fold my fab in my paper into two and then fold it into two again. You fold it into two the first time, then into two again, and then I'll mark out the radius. So my radius here is approximately 1.5. So I'll mark out 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5. Link it. So since I'm using three inches for the length of the flap, I'll mark it out as well. Three inches, three inches, and three inches. So now cut that. I'm showing us on paper so we we'll see clearly and easily understand it. So, here's it. Here's a 360 degree strap. And I'll cut it open. And so, that's it. So, you can see it looks fuller with. You see, I have my zipper allowance. And here's it. Quite full. Now, for the 720, remember we said it's um, 360 degrees in two places. So to calculate the radius of that, the first thing to do, you know, we want to cut full flare, two of um, full flare in the same um, circumference, in the same way circumference. So the first thing to do is to divide the circumference by two, the one that I already added zip allowance to. So that's going to be 9 divided by 2, which will be 4.5. So now this 4.5, I'll add 1 inch to it. That will use to join the um, flat together when I'm done cutting. So that's going to be 5.5 divided by 6.28. Remember, it's, two flare, it's full flare in two places. So the answer is... Um, 0 0.8 so the answer is 0 0.8 but I'll use 0 0.75 instead so that I won't have too much excess So to cut that, I fold my paper into two, like so, and then I fold it into two like so, and then into two again. And I mark out my circumference. circumference here is zero i'll use 0 0.75 which is um three quarter 0 0.75 0 0.75 and 0 0.75 and then 
I want to use two and a half inches now so it to look smarter on the model. <laughs> So now I'll have to cut two of this. Remember, we divided our measurement into two. So we equally cut out two of this. So when we open it up, this is one. And then we cut out another one exactly like this. So this is the second one. So I see now, and I'm going to join it with half an inch that I added as the same allowance, and then it will go round to the back and have a zip there. So I'll cut this out on fabric and show us. So I'll go ahead now. These are the outcomes. Uh -oh. I'll go ahead now and join them on the machine. So I'll join them together. And then, remember you join right side to right side. So I'll join them together and you see how it looks on our model. So here is it. I've joined them. I've joined the two flares together. And then, guys will be The waist circumference again the waist circumference and then you have your zip allowance as the ex extra so you can see it's looking very full it's looking very full already <coughs> so you can imagine how the 1080 will look like <laughs> so this is the um, 720 degrees flare so let's do the 1080 so for the 1080 degrees flare you know that is um 360 times 3 so times 3 that's what give us 1080 so and our waist circumference that we are using here is 8 inches so plus one inch zip allowance that's what give us nine so nine so since i want to call three um four flares i'll divide this into three that will give me three inches and then i'll add one inch that i'll use to join the flares together so i'll have four inches divided by 6.28 the answer is 0.63 so I'll use 0 0.5 instead to have minimum um, extra. So now I'll fold into two like this and then fold into two again. And I'll mark out my 0 0.5. Then my flare length, which is 2.5, 2.5, then 2.5. Remember when you're working on fabric, you use your fabric chunk. So I'm going to be cutting out three of these out on fabric. 
you can imagine how full it's going to be i'll cut out three of this so here is it i've been able to join the three together this is the first the second and the third so you can see how full is looking so so here is the outlook you can see it's quite full imagine if it's a um, full big fabric so you see the beauty better so that's it you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching see you in my next video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel bye